Historian Michael Betchlock today hit the nail on the head. I want you to listen to how he describes what we finally came to after the hearings today. This is uh, point, punto, point blank. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. The behavior in real time of Mark Meadows to have no understanding of the, the danger of the president going to Capitol Hill or of him attending the meetings of the plotters the night before. And this was someone who was elected to Congress, Mark, Mark Meadows. This is not just, you know, one of these people off the street plotting against our democracy. Uh, we've seen people like Mark Meadows in world history, and we saw them in the bunker of Berlin in Adolf Hitler's last days. We saw them around Benito Mussolini before he was hanged in a gas station in Milan. There are people who are accessories to terrible authoritarian leaders who do extremely terrible things. But the main thing today, from my point of view, and Andrea, is you will remember, and everyone will remember, that from January 6th on, Trump and his uh, accessories claim that this was just a spontaneous demonstration and these angry people who were, you know, indignant about an election that had supposedly been stolen, which it wasn't, went up to Capitol Hill. Some even described them as tourists. As of today, irrevocably, it is very clear and very concrete. This was a president who led a coup d'etat and an insurrection against the people of the United States, did it from the Oval Office, was abetted by people like Mark Meadows and others. And our job now is Let's find out exactly who the plotters were, bring them to justice, but above and beyond all that, make sure that we pass new laws to make sure that an atrocity like this never happens in our country again. It almost succeeded. We almost lost our democracy. We, Cassidy Hutchinson, once an aide to former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, she single-handedly with her testimony any Trumpist or anyone else who heard that testimony, it was quite clear that all of this planning originated directly from the White House. And just as Bechlaff said, it was a coup d'etat. It was an insurrection to try to overthrow the government of the United States or the newly elected govern government of the United States. That is treason. That is what Donald Trump needs to be tried for and sent to jail for, sent to prison for. Because again, he attempted single-handedly with, with a lot of help to actually steal an election. And it's amazing. All the things that Trump always talk about, those four other fingers when he's pointing is always pointing back. Election fraud, Republicans and Trump. Uh, sleazy behavior, election. Donald Trump and his sycophants. So let's not let's not play games here, folks. This was directly the fault of Donald Trump. And by the way, folks, there's a, a thank you button down below. If you like these videos, why don't you just click on the thank you button and uh, help us keep this stuff going, making sure we, we tell the truth to those who need to hear the truth. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.